Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to another episode of Shadows of Abaddon. Now, in the last video, we defeated the big frosty wolf boy, the Decree, and got, uh, got a little bit of his fur. Made some armor out of it, and now I look like him. That's what happens when you get bit by a werewolf, I guess. This new frigid pendant we got from him, which I'm very excited to see what the full effects of it are, because I looked it up, because I was curious if it just gave me mana and a little bit of extra damage. Apparently it gives me immunity to like chilled and frostburn debuffs, which is why whenever I fought him a second time, I wasn't actually affected by any debuffs from his abilities. And it also gives me increase to like minion slots, like movement speed, a whole bunch of stuff. It's just a really powerful accessory that works only in the snow biome. So I don't know how long we're actually gonna use it. But anyway, we have a lot of stuff on the agenda for today. A lot of new things that need to get done main thing among all of them is to go over to the corruption and eventually destroy the Eater of Worlds, which I imagine is not going to be a problem at all, especially if we have this uh, Omega Strong Bow and this uh, the set bonus just making all my projectiles frostburn enemies, so I, I just imagine this going fantastically. But before we go over there and do all of that, I know that there are new NPCs that I need to build houses for over here, a couple of new ones that'll show up, or I guess I need to find something like that. I forget what I was told about them, but you gotta, gotta do some things to get all these new NPCs in. They're very important. It's gonna pretend that Sylvester doesn't exist and never, ever, ever, ever touch this button again. Ugh. Just forget that I even saw that. It'll bleach my brain after seeing whatever that was. And speaking of houses and whatnot, I forgot to mention where I got this picture from, this little space picture. You can buy it from the decorationist right here. It's called Polarius, I guess. It's just a little, little bit of flair here. Spice up this little this little uh, shack I've built for myself in the uh, in the frozen north, because you know what? Why not subject my NPCs to even more torture? Not only do they get blown up by the bosses I fight here, they also gotta freeze to death. But yeah, that's the first thing on the list of things to do, is I'm probably gonna end up building some houses before I go over there. I'll probably do that real quick off camera here, and then we'll head over to the corruption and see what we can find over there. Or maybe even meet some of these new NPCs before we head over there and see what they have in store for us. So, I will be back whenever I'm finished with my construction. Oh, and what is this up here? Frozen Pandalar? Oh, look at that. I think we, uh, I think we found a new NPC. You gotta break him out of his little thing here, it looks like. Looks like that's a Pandalar right there, whatever that is. Hey, man, what's up? Unconscious Pandalar. How many years have passed? None? A thousand? Four hundred thousand? Oh, excuse me, my name is Desmond. Thank you for saving me. Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Is there? What do you sell? You sell a Pandalar mask, Pandalar paws, and a Ilian panel? What is this? What does this do? Hmm. Ilian. What does that look like? Well, that's pretty cool. The new building material right there. You can make some... Yeah, make a house out of that or something at some point. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That's cool, though. Okay. What else do you got for me here? Pandalar mask and Pandalar paws. He also sells leather. Anything in particular? Sacred tools. So I can make an armor set out of leather and tumble sticks. The things we got from the desert over there. Looks like it's a throwing set, though. Anyway, that's cool, though. Definitely gonna buy this mask and paws, though. Let's see that right there. I guess I can't because I have this, this thing on. Pandalar mask. I am one of you. I come in peace. Got some spare ice blocks, it's really hot right now. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 just sweltering right now. It is unbelievably warm. The paws. I got a little fluffy pandalar paws. Let me get pandalar, that's adorable. I love it, I love this NPC, it's fantastic. Myth about humans turning into mutants after bathing in the blood of monsters. Well, I don't know about all that. But anyway, what is this other thing that you do? Salvaged items? Mysterious gem. Pandalar gave this to you, you should keep it for later use. It is consumable. Okay, whatever. No questions asking me a mysterious gem from a dude I just broke out of an ice block. Fine. We'll throw it all in there. The Pandalar paws. Okay. Well, that's that NPC taken care of. Anyway, back to building. Okay, that should do it for housing right there. That should be plenty of room for four new NPCs. The nurse? Did I lose a nurse? How about she lived down here? She lives in my bedroom. The nurse is always in my bedroom. Because she's my favorite. But anyway, that should take care of housing for right now. Just a little extension out there. Try to make it look a little bit unique. I'm ending up building an NPC hotel. I have no idea for what I want to build if I even want to do something fancy here. But I suppose I should probably connect these houses together so they can all hang out with each other. Or whatever it is they do whenever I'm not around. But 
now it's time to head over to the corruption and see if I can take out the Eater of Worlds. So I'm gonna need some bombs, buy a whole bunch of these, and then probably buy some dynamite as well. Why not? Buy a whole bunch of dynamite, whole bunch of bombs. I don't know if I even have the ability to make potions. I know I have some. I'm not sure what all I have though exactly. I don't have any of the good ones. I did build a little area down here to collect. Ooh, that was cool. Okay, Desmond, I see you up there shooting your whatever that is. That looks really cool. But anyway, I did build a little area down below to start farming some herbs out, but I don't really have all that many seeds. I guess I didn't really collect any of my explorations. So, one day bloom. Hmm. That's lovely. Oh well, whatever. I'm probably not going to need potions for it. Oh, I got to get my jester arrows too. I'll bring those with me. And then we should be squared away for whatever it is we need. I'll make an archery potion. That's probably going to be more useful to me than defense. I have bad thigh. It should be all right. But I'll bring my jester arrows with me if I even have the ability to make a whole bunch. I have 25. Definitely going to need to make some more. Anyway, moving right on along. Now onward to the corruption. Over to the right this way. We travel across the frozen wastes. It's been a very frosty Let's Play so far. Very cold. Very, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, pr pretty, pretty chill. You know what I mean. Ah, uh, terrible jokes. Terrible, terrible jokes. Okay, here we go. Did I explore over this way? I must have done that in the past. I didn't even notice a shadow orb sitting up there. You think I'd have noticed something like that. We got a musket. That'll give us our potential for a meteor and our, uh, gunslinger. I can't remember. Arms Dealer, that's the name of the NPC of this game that I've been playing for thousands of years. That I do not remember the name of. Let me make sure that I don't have any of this stuff saved in my whitelist. Of course I do. Of course I have Ebonstone saved to Vein Miner. Why would I why would I do that? What is the need? There's another exposed one over there. Okay, well let's start blowing some stuff up down here. Throw a stick of dynamite. Get some Ebonstone. I don't know if it's useful for anything. If it makes anything new mod related, or if it's just it's regular old crafting stuff. Nope. Gotta wait for the Journey's End update before I can do anything with that. Spoilers, by the way, for those of you that didn't know, but you can make stuff out of Ebonstone finally, like the Crimson stuff. Crimstone. You can make houses and whatnot out of it now. Alright, so I can't break anymore. Got a band of star power and a musket. Gonna have a big corrupt ice biome. Hopefully in hard mode it stays on this side. I won't have to worry about having my house overrun by the terrible monsters. There's a bunch of demonites sitting out over here, too. Archery potion, that's good, I'll take that. This looks like a pretty reasonable area to fight him in. Pretty nice, wide open area here. Sure, why not? Let's build a whole bunch of platforms, let's give it a try. Build up a little arena here. No! Okay, you know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna use auto cursor because it just can't deal with platforms. That's what I want out of the Journey's End update. If, if you do anything at all, it's either the Moon Lord's legs or making it so Smart Cursor doesn't make using platforms with it on unbearable. Alright, that ought to be sufficient enough to t deal with one measly Eater of Worlds. One big nasty ugly purple worm. Alright, so let's start blowing some stuff up down here. Hopefully the bombs don't break everything. Please do not destroy my platforms. There, It's going to. It's going to... Oh, maybe not. Okay. That's fine. That's acceptable. I like this. All right. So let's clear a path here. With my musket. Bang. There we go. Okay. So I will throw down some dynamite down here to blow this up. That'll be, uh, that'll be the time. Switch. Here we go. Which way is he coming from? He's coming from over there. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. We're pulverizing him. He's getting absolutely annihilated. Yep, this is about exactly what I thought would happen doing this. Ah, let me get them all lined up in front of me. Oh, yeah. Yep, that pretty much went exactly how I expected it would. Might as well keep going. There's so many shadow orbs down here. It looks like I got two corruptions crammed together. Anything new drop? That lovely worm scarf. I think I'll swap that out for one of these, for the uh, Cloud in a Bottle, the weaker one. All right, let's do it again. Oh yes, that is just extremely satisfying. Most satisfying boss to kill in Terraria, definitely. This is, this is just, the way he dies, it's just great. 
watch them blow up like that. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's see ya. Come on out. Oh boy, we're gonna do this now, are we? Have a musket. Bam. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright, I probably don't need to do it again. That should be more than enough resources. And I'm pretty sure I got one of everything that the Shadow Orbs can drop. And now I await Meteorite. See what kind of new things I can do with that. I don't even know if there's any more Shadow Orbs around here, other than the uh, lovely little buddy that's following me right now. Oh, there's that one down there. We just pretend we didn't see that one. Some death weed in there. I guess that makes it worth going in there, because I'm definitely going to need that for the uh, more powerful potions later on. Get some of those snow and ice blocks. Maybe I'll build a little igloo off to the side for my Pandalar buddy, since he likes the cold so much. Boom. Okay, another Shadow Orb. All right, well, that just about looks like that's it for this one. For this corruption right here. Eater Worlds died very quickly, pretty much just like I expected. Let's head back and see what all we can craft with this stuff now. Anything new happen? Anything? Did I miss anything, guys? Did you miss me? They're all like, oh god, he's back. I'd like to believe that all my NPCs love me. That's that's what makes me sleep better at night. Drop all that stuff in there. Make some bars. Demonite bars. How many we got? About 114. That should be plenty. Accessories, just the standard shadow set. Nothing new there. We need to make the pickaxe. Anything new? Fight the decree again if I felt like it. Let's throw one into recipe browser, see if there's anything new there. Alright, so we got... Standard stuff, doesn't look like anything new. Heart of the Caverns? No. No, I don't want that. Not at all. It's a Hellstone Altar, functions as a Demon Altar. Well, that's nice to know that that's there. I guess that defeats the perp. I like my little shrine down there, so you know what? I'm gonna leave it there. Everglow. Gleaming Root and Everbloom. Huh. Umbra. That's a throwing weapon. I was already able to make that, though. It doesn't look like anything else too new, but what is the Everglow? It's a magic weapon. Everbloom. It's made out of Daybloom. What about the other one? What's this one? Gleaming Root? That's made out of Blink Root. Okay. So there's magic weapons that I can make that are crafted from Blink Root. I might have to collect some stuff up, see how to make that, just in case. It's a material. Okay, that makes something crazy. All right. Oh, a meteorite has landed already. Well, we're definitely going to have to check that out. Do some surface exploration. Might come across some day bloom and other interesting things. Maybe even an unconscious man. I might... I don't know. It depends. Because I might do the old one's army. Maybe. I don't know if it'll be useful for this, though. It was kind of just mostly target practice with the last mod. They Most mods really don't put all that many new and interesting things into that event. Because it's already just kind of... It's kind of just whatever. I just did it because I thought it was fun. was curious. You know, I never really do it. We're gonna go looking for that meteor right now. See if we can find anything interesting. Any cool, new, unique, amazing things we can make out of meteorite. Water leaf is a material. Oh, I can make a sea palm. That's interesting. I guess there's all kinds of plant stuff that I can make out of the uh, little herbs that I can collect around here. So they're not just useful for potions. They're useful for making all kinds of other stuff. Make a super powerful plant weapon. Yeah, why not? We found the jungle. Moonglow makes something too. Must be what that super powerful weapon is. It's just all those combined into one big crazy plant thing. Well, that is an interesting spawn. Got an uprooted tree here. That's the first one of these I've seen in a while. One that I can actually go down inside of. What is in here? We got the leaf wand and the living wood wand. Okay. What lies at the bottom? Anything? Other than a couple cobwebs. Oh, would you look at that? There's a pyramid all the way over here. Oh, okay. This is a very unique spawn. Of course it is. There's always one. There's always that unique spawn. What about coral? What does this do? Make anything with that? Sonar potion and gills potion. I have to go back and check out that pyramid before I go back. Hopefully I don't forget. I guess the meteorite's on the other side. I am drowning. Okay, time to go back. Run. Quickly, I didn't mean to do that. Go. Heal. Oh god, I can't heal. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh god. Ah! Well, that's great. Well, I guess the pyramid's gonna have to wait. Oh, here we go. Meteorite. There's some big trees over here, too. Might as well take those with me, because I'm a little bit short on wood right now. I wonder what kind of stuff we can make out of this. At the very least, even if I can't make anything cool, I get to uh, enjoy the satisfaction of vein mining a meteorite again. That's always just the 
most wonderful experience ever. All right. Oh yeah, there we go. Watch it dissolve. My little slime pet down there, he's just like, oh, I'm just gonna jump on it. All right, so how much did I get from all that? I think I collected it all. There's a little bit more down here. Not considered a meteor biome anymore. Before I die, how about I heal? Okay, so I got 616 of it. I have to take that back to base and see what all I can craft. While I'm over here, I might as well just explore the rest of it. Ah, we found the dungeon. Got some water candles right up there at the surface. I wonder if there's a water bolt around here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there. And it's mythical. Well, how about that? That's crazy. A mythical water bolt right off the bat. Water candle on the surface. That's pretty lucky. How about that? Shame I'm not a mage right at the moment, but you know what? You know, I'm flexible with my class in this game. Why not? Switch it up a little bit. I don't want to stick to this one class. That's no fun. Okay, drop all that junk off. All right, so we can make meteorite bars now. Craft all of that good stuff. Oh my god. I need to build more magic storage. Okay, we need to upgrade our storage first. That's like priority number one. Okay, we got that taken care of. How many meteorite bars did I end up with? All right, I'm sure I got a lot. Okay, let's see, let's see what I can craft now. Any new weapons? This weapon out stuff. I can make phase blades, of course. Oh, it looks like I got enough, uh, I got enough of the plants on my journeys to make all these things now. Everbloom fires a yellow petal, and the sea palm fires a bouncing water droplet. Oh, I kinda need these right now. I kinda need the herbs just to make potions right now, because these aren't probably gonna be very useful for me right this second, but I will definitely make those later. What about armor? I can make the meteorite stuff as always. Pretty much everything I can make right now. Let's see there's new potions. Okay, so I got a dusk potion. Increased stats during the night. That'll be really useful for boss fights. And ninja focus. 7 percent increased thrown damage and 25 increased velocity oh i got white feathers when did i pick those up what are those from i don't even know i, don't, I must have just grabbed them and not even noticed them going to my inventory but there we go all kinds of cool stuff there i guess nothing really incredible right now oh well that's fine um i don't think i'm gonna make the meteorite set i'm gonna stick with the frost hunter set for right now because it's actually not too bad i like that uh secondary ability all right, before I get lost running off in another expedition i think the episode's been going on for quite enough already so I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.